Hey guys, Russell Krausman out here in Woodbine, Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, here we got a 24 foot Sea Ray uh, open bow. We have a uh, Alpine 1 Gen 2 set up on it with a 5.7. And uh, we blew the upper gearbox on it. Here's a replacement. And then there's the uh, outdrive moment, lower unit. Installed a new water pump, new seals, everything. So we got it all ready to go. Got all new uh, universal joints in it and been resealed and everything. So she's all ready to go. But in the process of this, I wanted to go ahead and change the bellows and the water pump hose in it and you know shift cable just to get it all done the gimbal bearing um gimbal bearing on this thing is actually totally locked up you can't even turn it it's stuck i mean i don't even know how the uh i don't even know how the out drive was turning i guess it was just in there whining or something but the uh grease fittings over here for it and it's been greased and maintained and so Anyway, good thing I checked it because, like I said, uh, new gimbal bearing going in. But then we got this big chip out of here, too. It wasn't leaking. Uh, you got about a half-inch lip on the back side of that, but uh, not much seal on that bellow. So they do make a repair kit for this. Uh, it's $450, bucks, $500, and what it is, is it's a big plastic ring that goes around this. You press, you put epoxy on here, and you press this big plastic ring on. And in the kit comes a new bellow, so um, it's a special bellow. You got to buy it with this kit, and you can't buy the bellow individually. So if you ever had to replace it again, you're spending another $500. So, uh... Too bad it wasn't on the exhaust side. I'm not, wouldn't be too worried about that. So I don't mind paying the money for the repair kit. It's more about the fact that they're ripping you off because all they're selling you is a piece of plastic, a tube of epoxy and a bellow for $500. I mean, I bought the uh, factory bellow set for this for you know well under that and it comes with everything. You know, the new water pump hose, um, everything um, we're also putting the new pucks on the side for the tilt and trim so we're just gonna redo the whole thing the, um, this is all real tight looks like it's sealed pretty good so luckily I don't have to pull that apart but I've got a lot of comments off Facebook and you know uh, boating clubs uh, upper Chesapeake boating club and um, you know the other groups that are out there about this and most say don't don't try to repair it replace it which you got to pull the motor out yep you got to pull the motor out and this whole assembly you can buy used for about five hundred dollars or you can spend you know two thousand and buy one new but anyway so what i've come up with is this i got myself a shower drain two inch no caulk, so there. I don't even have to caulk this. <laughs> but this ring is what I'm after on the back of it. This is what I'm after right here. This ring. So, basically what I'm going to do with this, and this has these little notches here. You see them? has a couple notches here, and these have notches on this some little flat spots on it and this actually sits in there real nice on those notches can't move it back and forth it's just stuck in there so I actually got four screws and I'm gonna drill four screws through here it's kinda of hard to hold it and show you but I'm gonna put four screws around this disc and then on the back side I'm gonna fill it with JB Weld. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to epoxy this in. I'm going to put e epoxy on the back side, put it in, drill my four holes, 
um, and I'm going to drill the four holes right on this right on this lip on the outside it's not going to interfere with my gimbal bearing and then I'm going to put Loctite on them and I'm going to just make this one part of this and with the screws holding it and the epoxy um, I think I'm going to fix that chip quite well on that side I think it's going to really do well so like I said this is just a two inch shower drain but this is really what I want it and then I got some uh, I got two different sizes both of them are 1032's one is uh, 7 8 and one is 1 and 1 8 depending on what size I need length um, I got my tap out of my collection of taps and dies and this is the epoxy I bought I like this is actually from Loctite but it actually has these little straws on the side so when you dispense it it'll mix it automatically and you can pinpoint where you want to put it instead of it dripping off a piece of wood or a piece of straw or whatever you're trying to use to apply it um, this is good for metal, wood, uh, stone, glass, tile, plastic, and is also waterproof. So, we're going to see how it all turns out. I'm not going to make a video of uh, every of me doing this, but I will take a bunch of pictures. But uh, I wanted to make this video so I could explain what I'm doing. And then I will also post the pictures um, step by step and we'll see how it turns out so all right thank you wish me good luck and right now in baltimore maryland woodbine maryland it's uh it's nice and sunny yeah a good day to do this but they're calling for rain later so hopefully i get this done in time so all right happy boating